I'm here at the Minnesota Robotics Invitational with Team 2470, Team Bjork, out of Bloomington, Minnesota. They've had a great run this season, uh, making three out of three playoffs at their competitions, and were the finalist alliance captain at the Minnesota State High School League Championship. They've got this great stylish three-stage arm and pneumatic gripper. So let's see what the Verd is all about, coming up here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun was brought to you by viewers like you and also by the following. The new Robit system by Anymark can reduce complexity and enable robust builds. Parts align to a common one half inch grid, simplifying construction and allowing alignment of both structure and motion components. Robits enables teams to always have the parts they need to complete a build. Head on over to Anymark.com slash Robits to learn more and order today. Fun is continuing to grow and looking for new ad partners for the 2024 season. If your organization has a positive message to spread to our over 250,000 unique viewers, go to firstupdatesnow.com slash contact to get more information. All right, Noah, take me through your arm. Tell me about your design process and how it works. All right, so the major thing I want to focus on with this three-stage arm is for the top two stages, we're just driving them directly through these chains. But the bottom stage down here, we've done something special. In the past years, we've had hex shafts that get twisted from too much torque. So instead, this year, we've used these air shocks here and we're running a strap around a spool with a ratchet. And then that means that there's no torque actually being applied to the, uh, the pivot point there. Also, it has the benefit of giving some springiness, which means it, with our arm way extended out, if we hit something, there's a little give and it doesn't break. Another thing to look at is with this chain here, it's a very long chain and we had a difficult time tensioning it. So we used a trick of just putting a, a extra sprocket that's free floating in there. And that spreads the chain out and gives us the tension we needed. And we can move on to the wrist. Yeah, so for our wrist, we had uh, quite a bit of iteration with that. We've gone through a few designs on how we should angle our grippers. Um, we weren't quite sure at first, but this is what we landed on. It's slightly angled in, um, and also these are offset slightly. Uh, that's to help with getting cones. We also experimented with what we should use to pick up game pieces. We were messing around with everything we had in our shop, and we found that compliant wheels just worked the best. And um, to activate our gripper we just we have our pneumatics that'll uh force it shut and it'll just squeeze onto the corner cube and to offset not having an active intake we use our right sight right here so whenever it senses anything in the way it'll close which is also why we happen to have this black flap which is just to reduce reflections that's all the tape we uh, we had some issues at our second competition with that but we got it all fixed and then lastly, we have this right here. This is to protect um, the air shocks, and we use polycarbonate across both here and for um, the entire assembly uh, for rotating the wrist because it's lighter and also because it fits in our frame a lot better than if we were to use uh, metal tubes. Yeah, so that's our gripper. All right, very gripping. Um, now can we see this in action? Yeah, so to operate our gripper and our arm, we use a button board that you can see over here. Um, so on it, we have all of our presets. So low, cone, and cube, they all have their individual spots. Moving the wrist angle up or down, making it parallel, putting it into drive mode, putting it into ground pickup, and double substation. And we have all those that we use throughout our match. Uh, and it's been very effective for us this entire season. So uh, let's see it in um, double substation. And... Um, yeah, yeah. so just with the right sight, very quick, and then brings it up so that way we can drive away without catching on the edge of anything, go back into drive, and yeah, that's kind of just been our system for picking up, drive back and then drop and place, yeah. So that would be our ground pickup. Very cool. All right, now I'm going to hand it over to Max to talk about the programming that they've done on this arm. Hi. Um, so we have this really cool thing on a robot called the Rev Digit, which is essentially an autonomous selector, which means we can 
select which autonomous we want to run prior to the match, turn off the robot, and it will remember it for when the match actually starts. So we don't have to change anything. We don't have to deal with shuffleboard. It's just on the robot, and it's super reliable. And what's super cool about our autonomous is um, we realize that a lot of teams are going to have strong autonomouses not on the cable side because the cable is a very weird thing to deal with, and it's just difficult. And so we decided that we're going to try to take advantage of that. And so the majority of our autonomouses start on the cable side because we realize that if we have a strong cable autonomous, then that's going to be super advantageous for our teammates. And as you can see, when we pass through this cable, uh, the cable cover right there, we automatically slow down because in uh, because previously we have realized that like if you go over at high speeds, it can throw off the entire robot. It won't know where it is and that type of thing. Well, thank you, Team Bjork, for showing off this amazing robot. Um, I'll be glad to see more of it in action, and good luck. This video on fun was brought to you by viewers like you and also by the following. The new Robit system by Anymark can reduce complexity and enable robust builds. Parts align to a common one half inch grid, simplifying construction and allowing alignment of both structure and motion components. Robits enables teams to always have the parts they need to complete a build. Head on over to Anymark.com slash Robits to learn more in order today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.